Hey yo, this is Akron Viper, and I am bringing you episode 2 of Dissecting Chicken, where I take the gameplay of Chicken Rocks and dissect it, kind of see what makes him good, how we can take some of his techniques, use them in our gameplay, and help us make us a better player. So uh, this opening route here, I love in TDM and Search. I'm going to assume Chicken does too, because he's using it. I'm um, up here at the CDOM. Everybody is fighting over that top of that hill. Seems like the big battle is going there. Well, you'll catch these guys up here camping. Just like he's doing right there. You'll catch these guys up here waiting for someone to come over top that hill. You can kind of come over there, side swipe them, and take them out. Get a couple easy kills at the beginning of the game. Um, search, though. You will catch some guys running through that tunnel, too, if they have some rushers on their team. So you'll you know, be prepared for a little fight in that tunnel. You're just going to have to win that gunfight, though. Um... This match here has almost an unlimited UAV, so it pretty much helps, you know, kind of figure out what's going on. You can see everyone's fighting at the top of that hill there from CDOM. Seems to me what Chicken is doing is using, you know, the UAV to his advantage. He's kind of finding the perpendicular to the battlefront and setting up posts there, getting a secure area and picking guys off as they run up for the battle. Um, this guy here, I hate this. I get killed all the time like Akino does. Bam! Gets sniped. UAV's up. That's one thing you do is you get kind of lulled into the false security of a UAV. You're looking at the red dots. You see them guys. Oh, they're not moving. I'm going to go up and get them. And then the ghost guy gets you. Um, this here is a genius thing he's going to do. Watch this guy over to the left. There's a UAV. There's a red dot. He's coming down. Watch. He's coming down there. Okay. Now watch this. There he goes, right? No. That guy stopped. The ghost guy which is Sticky Slayer, Slicky, whatever the hell's name. Yeah, Silky J. That guy gets killed a lot. Um, what I would have did there is I would have saw that ghost guy, assuming it was my red dot I was chasing, and got shot in the back by the red dot. I do that all the time with these UAVs. You know, you assume one thing, and there's two guys running there, one of ghosts. And uh, I don't know what it is. I see that easy kill, too. I don't even, you know think to look the other way it's like oh there's food i'm getting it i don't know if it's something left over from uh i don't know our caveman days or something like that but tell you what if i was a caveman i'd have been eaten by a eaten from behind by a snaggle no not really snaggle they were a snaggle puss that's like a cartoon uh saber tooth tiger i don't know what the hell i'm talking about now i'm getting loopy i've done too many commentaries today but uh what you see chicken using here is uh using the uav instead of rushing around that corner He's going to let this guy come to him, which is you know, a pretty smart thing. I play my fair share of hardcore, and I know on this map, that crane is a death trap. People are camping that thing, just waiting for you. Here, Here's this guy here. Who is it? The ghost, Silky J. Now, I like this part here. I find it humorous or something. I don't know what it is. but So, Chicken runs back to his uh, motion sensor. Reloads. He's not going to get caught reloading because he knows someone's going to come. And uh, what happens here? Revenge kill. Looking for the guy camping in the corner, but he's not there. Gets shot in the back. Um, I wouldn't call this gameplay campy. I don't know about you guys. Would you call him a camper? Would you call this campy gameplay? Um, I rush my ass off, and I hate campers. I hate campers of a passion, and I do not consider this camping. I don't know about you. Let me know. But, uh, I don't know, he's being smart, you know, he's always going to that, that, that perpendicular intersection point, hitting the battle, and not pushing too far up into, you know, where they're spawning. I like to rush head first to the red dots, I get killed a lot. I do like how he's being very careful around this crane, just for the fact, like I said, of the hardcore, there's a million guys waiting over there. Um, also, that crane area, say from the crane to, uh, what's that, the electrical area? It seems like there's, man, it has to be maybe 10 spawns. Maybe not that much, but there's a lot of spawns over there. And on a big map like this in Array, you know, you keep chasing those reds. Eventually, you're going to push past a couple spawn points. And uh, they're going to spawn behind you, like right there. You know, say you run past that crane by the dish. A guy's going to spawn behind that crane and get you. Um, there's so many spawn points on that side with this big map like this. It seems like, you know, you're always going to get out of position somehow, and you're going to get shot from behind just from being out in the middle of that field. So, uh, you know, the way he's playing this map, you know, I think it's a pretty smart way, you know, of kind of controlling the spawn flip. And, um, you know, like, like the other chicken gameplay, 
you know, he does kind of control the engagements. And it seems like really no one's going to get him from behind. And I like that. You know, he's not making a big target. And hopefully, you know, hopefully we can learn something from that. I know, you know, I try to. Um, but, you know, that caveman mentality of rushing with my club headfirst into the, the food seems to get me killed a lot, too. So, you know, to keep a 3-plus KDR like this, you know, that's uh, you're battling the odds, you know. And I think it's pretty damn good that you always end up with a game where, you know, you're at least, what, four, you know, 12 and 4? Or let's make it even better, 24 and 8. You know, you're averaging 24 and 8. So, uh, you know, that's pretty good. That's the end of the game, guys. Uh, expect more, some more uh, episodes of this and some more gameplays from me. I will talk to you later, and please leave some comments. Let me know what you guys think, and uh, let's discuss this. What do you guys think? Camping? No? Yes? Um, I like it. 27-0. Later.